on a tangent. Anyway, anyways, Noel wanted to know, how did you get your role in Twilight? Did you audition for it, or did someone ask if you were interested? Um, I won it on an online auction. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, um, I'll tell you how it went. Um, I got a phone call one afternoon, and it was my agents. Uh, and they said, hey, uh, you want to do a vampire movie? And I said, no. Because <laughs> I was thinking, like, I don't know, some B horror movie with, like, you know, bats in caves and blood and guts. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I just, that's not where, what I wanted to really be doing. So, uh, so they said, no, it's based on this book called Twilight. And, um, you know, it's got, a, it's got a good following. And it's a really interesting book. You should read it. And uh, Catherine Hardwick's directing the movie. I said, oh, I, l I love Catherine Hardwick. I said, uh, set up a meeting, and I'll, and I'll, and I'll meet with her. And uh, they go, your meeting's tomorrow. <laughs> and I was like, all right, well, well, can you send me the script? And they go, there is no script. <laughs> I said, OK, uh, there's just the, the audition pages. And I go, well, um, can you send me the book? And they go, OK. So they sent me the book. I got it at like 5 in the afternoon. And I started reading it. And cut to like 3 a.m. and I finished reading it. <laughs> I, I, couldn't, I couldn't put it down. And, uh, and I, I, I fell in love with it. I thought, you know, this, I, I was, it wasn't that I wasn't a fan of vampire movies, because like I love the old like Bela Lugosi like vampire movies. But uh, I just feel like they kind of turned, somewhere along the lines, Hollywood turned them into horror movies. And, and what I liked about Twilight is, is it kind of brought it back to this uh, classic vampire tale, the mysteriousness, the seductiveness. And, uh, and I liked that. And then it was, you know, had this whole Romeo and Juliet tale set in the vampire world. And, uh, and so I went in and I read for it. And, uh, and it was a great audition. Catherine's really wonderful because she has so much passion, you know. So... Uh, yeah, do you guys know Catherine Hardwick? Like, I'm sure you guys have seen video on her, but she's very like passionate. And, hey, how are you? <laughs> Come on, let's read. And uh, and it, you know, usually cast uh, like directors sit in a chair in the corner, and they just you know you can feel them like judging you while you're acting, and sometimes they fall asleep. And uh, <laughs> and but Catherine read with me. She was like actually reading the part of Bella, so I was like, this is so cool that the director actually is reading with me. And, um, and then one of the scenes I had was, uh, was the last scene in Twilight where I'm, I'm kind of hovered over Bella with my hand on her leg and uh, you know, I'm talking to Edward. And, I, and I'm sitting there with my hands on Catherine Hardwick's thighs, <laughs> you know, straddled on top of her. And I'm like, if someone walks in right now, this is going to be really awkward. <laughs> So I read, and uh, I, I did a fantastic job. <laughs> Thank you. And, uh, and then I, I got the call that I didn't get the movie. <laughs> no, it's a true story. I, uh, I, I, they said, hey, you were really great, but um, they're, they're going to skew older with the role. They're gonna, they want to go like uh, a little bit older. Because in the book, I'm, you know, Carlisle's 23. Uh, but in, in the movie version, I think they wanted to go like even 10 years older than me because they wanted it to look like the father. You know, they were worried that if you look too close in age to the kids, that it would look weird. So, anyway, they uh, they they hired somebody else, and um, he was going in for like wardrobe fittings. This guy, I'm not gonna say who he is. <laughs> no, I can't. Out of respect for the other actor, who's. Uh, <laughs> now committing suicide on a daily basis. <laughs> uh, hasn't worked since. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to say. Uh, anyway, uh, so I won't say who it is, but I'll, he, I guess, I don't know if his deal didn't work out or uh, he was uh, unavailable, at, you know, but a week into their negotiations, they were like, the, they're having problems with his negotiations. And, uh, and, uh, but let me tell you, before, when I didn't get the role, I'm, a lot of you guys know this. I, I was kind of bummed because I, uh, you know, I wanted to be a part of this movie, and not because I thought it was going to be like this. What it is now, I just I really liked the material, and I liked Catherine. So when I didn't get the role, I, I, I sent Catherine a book that I had. It was really weird. I was in another casting office doing some other audition, and there was a vampire book, 
uh, 50 years of vampire making in Hollywood and had all these great pictures from all these different vampire movies. <coughs> and, uh, and so I'm in this casting office and it's just like, great, um, I didn't get the role and this book is now taunting me. <laughs> but I, 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 I got a, co like a, I took down the author's name and I, and I, and I looked for it online and I, I, I bought the book and I sent it to Catherine because even though I didn't you know, get the job, I thought, you know, really liked her and you know maybe I'll work with her in the future on something so I sent her the book and I said I hope this book inspires you to, to make a good movie um, sorry that, you know it didn't work out maybe maybe we'll do something in the future you know just a genuine note and uh, and then like a week after uh, I, I sent that I found out that the actor didn't you know his deal didn't work out and what I heard from Catherine was they called up Catherine and I I had been on the short list uh, of actors to do the role, so it was like between me and they were just trying to figure out what age to go and whatnot. So when they called Catherine, they said, uh, "Well, so and so's deal didn't work out. Um, who do you want to who do you want to go to next?" And uh, she had just gotten my book that day, <laughs> 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 so she looked down and she saw the vampire book. She goes, "How about Peter Facinelli?" <laughs> and uh, and the producers like, "Yeah, cool." So then um, I always joke. Catherine, I say, you know, I, I bought my role for 